Hi everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd, as you can see, I'm beside Papa Smurf again. Um, I'm wanting to check before the sun goes down completely, because it's already sunset. Um, or at least the sun is starting to set out anyways. Um, I want to check the condition of the fuel system. Now, not the entire thing. Um, I'm probably only going to have enough time to actually show you guys on the Civics. And here's the thing that was really cool because you can actually drain the fuel tanks in these without pulling out the tank. So that's a pretty neat feature actually, that it has a drain plug similar to an oil pan actually. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, well, for one, do that. And what you'll need, honestly, very simple. I know there's less than five liters of gasoline in this car because that's what I put it in it and it was completely bone dry when we picked it up uh, back last May. So with that in mind, I think it was May, maybe it was April, I can't remember. Anyways, um, so I got a pail here, right? Brand new, you know, from uh, the dollar store. It was only uh, five bucks. So I have this one and I have two other ones for other stuff that we're going to do in the future. Plus, just having new pails around, stuff like that. Um, as well, if it needs it, also in Stitch over there, I do have bottles of vinegar, which will be dumped straight into the tank and let it sit for about a day or two to try and break stuff up. If it comes out uh, when we do this, that if it comes out really bad. So anyways, let us take a look at what it is. So you're obviously going to need a socket set for this. I don't know what size it is, so... Uh, give me a moment here, and we'll hop off the video and show you when I'm down there. So being underneath the car, if we take a look here, you'll see that is actually a drain plug for the fuel tank. Um, so we are going to do that, and uh, yeah, we're going to take that off. Um, I just need to find the exact size that will work, and we'll check out the condition of the fuel. Okay, so jacking it up was too sketchy because uh, my bucket or my pail wasn't going to work um, with how tall it was with jacking it up. Like, jacking it up with its jack, don't get me wrong, was fine, but the jack was just sliding, the car was sliding, it's all this ice and stuff like that. It was just too dangerous, so we just used the maintenance ramp, rolled it up, and then now, well, let us begin. Hopefully I can get this thing undone. Okay, so as you can see, it is now out, that little plug, but interestingly, hardly any fluid has come out. Like, I know I put, granted it was a while back, but I put in a good, what, four, I don't know, three, four liters in this tank. So, might be time to put the vinegar, like, put the plug back in, put the vinegar in it, let it sit for a couple days, and see where we are at. So, yeah, um, that's going to be where this is. But yeah, this is an easy how-to, uh, drain the fuel tank in your, uh, in your car. Although, oh, wait, I think I know why. Fuel's probably in the front of the tank now, because this is jacked up a little bit. So maybe I do put the vinegar in it and see how it goes. So let's just do that really quick. Um, it took a 19 mil, actually, impact on the head, because it, I was not, I did not have enough strength to not deal with an impact, so yeah. Oh, there you go. Apologies, everyone. I lost the light here, so I had to go grab my little torch light. But anyways, you probably can't see me very well. But uh, here we have some vinegar. And what I'm doing is I'm actually dumping it in the fuel tank. Don't worry, I'm not cycling this through the entire system. But, ah, sorry, that was going to be annoying. Um, all I want to do is just put this in the fuel tank. Um, let it sit for about a day or two, and then drain it out see what it looks like in the pail when I drain it out in about a day or two. So yeah, it'll probably be about like tomorrow. So let's just see what happens. And I got two jugs of this, three and a half liters each. So should clean a sufficient amount of this tank. Because all I'm trying to do is just uh, get any of the rust or anything out of the bottom of the tank because that's where it's going to be. It's not going to be at the top, it's going to be at the bottom. Because that's where everything sits. Deposits, dirt, all that stuff. I 
Ah! Gas door's in the way. Now, there's still a little bit left in here, so I won't be able to get all of the... It, but there's such minimal amount in here, that's fine. Now to put this other one in, and then... Well, in the video, because there's not much else I can do until, you know, we drain it. So, uh, yeah. But as I'm doing this, um, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little uh, video here. Just explaining, you know, of the fuel system. Um, you know, of how to drain the tank and how to clean it out, because this is a good method. There are other methods, too, but I like the less invasive methods of, you know, not having to take out the tank, because once you take out the tank, okay, well, then your straps can go and uh you know you can snap bolts and stuff like that so it's just better to do it this way i personally think um let's see anything else um so yeah i was going to do the brakes today actually but i ended up not doing that um due to the fact that my air compressor i don't have the correct fittings for the air chuck so um for this new air compressor that i got actually i've had this compressor for a while so i finally opened the box so that's where I'm at with the brakes on this anyways. Um because there's clearly a blockage somewhere in the line, so you know brake clean, air check, pretty simple method. Take it out free. Ah, there we go. So that's how you get it all out. <laughs> so, may as well put the last of this in there. Um, but yeah, so this car, I don't know how long it's going to be until this thing's on the road, to be honest. Uh, we're kind of weighing out our options to see what we 100% want to do um, when it comes to, like, trying to get this thing insured and registered and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, like, and vinegar, you know, honestly, is a great cleaner, though, for anything, to be honest. Although don't run it through your entire system like if you crank it with the vinegar in the system that won't be that good but you know when i drain it, it should be fine no worries there um because yeah you, you could damage like rubber components and stuff like that so just be careful because again it is you know uh, a cleaner that is slightly corrosive that's why i'm using it um but and there we go just like that um, so anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you know, please like the video, comment anything you want to see down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, I do want to mention that there might be another car, another project coming back to the channel. Um, if you guys have been here for a long time, obviously you're probably not watching. Uh, you might be watching both videos, we'll see. Uh, but anyways, it doesn't matter. I had an 86 Mustang Convertible LX 3.8 named Lilo. It's actually on my banner um, on here on YouTube. Um, it's me in between Stitch and L Lilo. Now, the thing is, with that car, I had to sell it because the motor was cooked. Um, what happened was the fuel pressure regulator let go. Um, so it was just dumping way too much fuel in. It already had, I'm pretty sure the piston rings were not great in that car anyways. Put fuel into the oil, cooked the bearings. So, the thing knocked really bad and it was not good so um yeah that car i have the opportunity to buy it back um i've got a couple of weeks to see if i can come up with the money for it so we'll see if that happens um hopefully it does because i really miss that car and i absolutely love it um and yeah you know who knows we'll see uh it's gotten some upgrades as well so anyways um yeah if you want to contact me you can at Katarina's Stock garage on instagram or kenry's garage on facebook um, and yeah, I will catch you around. Bye! Pikachu! Ah, got caught. <laughs>